Still Play with Yvonne Mutui. Good morning, you tune in to Pal Radio 96.9. We are your home of fresh and classic hits. My name is Yvonne Mutui and I'm here for Pal Play with Yvonne, your music companion. And uh, in studio today, <laughs> I have a very good friend of mine. Hi, Precious Go. Hi, Yvonne. I'm always, always just jealous about your name. <laughs> Like, how are you precious call on your ID? Some of us, you can't say our names. Well, it is what it is. It is what uh, it is. Thank God for parents uh, mm-hmm. that saw us for who we were. So, yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Karibu sana. Asante. It's good to be here. Yes. Good morning to you and everyone who's tuned in. Good morning as it's well. It's exciting. Umekunyo chai sana leo? Um, yes. <laughs> <laughs> the weather demands. The weather demands for you it. You have to, yeah. Oh, amazing. Karibu Sana, just introduce yourself to us. Tell us what you do. Yeah. You don't have to tell us that you're in, you're an you're an engineer because we really don't care. But <laughs> <That's> <laughs> it. I was going to start just, there. You're going to start there. <laughs> okay, just briefly introduce yourself to us. Oh, well, my name is Precious Cole. Um, I'm born again, of course, a believer. Mm-hmm. I'm excited to be here. Um, yes, I'm a civil engineer by training, <laughs> <laughs> but by calling, I'd say I'm a preacher of the gospel. I love the Lord. Mm-hmm. Um, now, state has changed. I'm married. Yeah, yeah. To one wife. How many months now? Six months six? in the next one week or so. Oh wow, weeks. it's already six months. That was Imagine. fast because the first time you were here, yeah, it was going to be your wedding the next weekend or something. The next weekend, and yes. you actually sacrificed preparing for it <laughs> to come here for us. Yeah, because this is, I mean, it's lovely to Too be kind. able to do this. Thank you. Um, yeah, and I'm excited to be here. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think I've said everything that I need to say. <laughs> yeah, you, well, when you know to us, I don't talk about myself much, but welcome to Pal Radio. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Now, the conversation we are about to have today, first of all, I have to tell you, Yeah. Uh, some of the things people are saying is, first of all, this is a conversation we need to have, you know, right. because it's happening out there, sana, yeah, yeah. and we're not having it, as you know, as believers and, mm-hmm. and all that. But now, I asked a group of my friends yeah. from one to five rating of one to five yes. five being the highest uh-huh. um, the possibility that someone will get into marriage sexually p- pure mm. <laughs> um, well <laughs> that's a tough one mm-hmm. um, I think the more we keep on one of my, my mom said to me sometime back when I was joining campus uh-huh. she told me that it's going to be harder for you to live for God in your generation mm-hmm. than it was for us like 20 years ago and when i look at it 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 can only be true it's becoming harder and harder every day to find people who have preserved themselves even sexually yeah people who have remained uncompromised it's it's the i mean the chances are narrowing down every every other time so on that scale There's of one and five, and small and small so what would you where would you scale that um you said five being the highest the, the, <laughs> Like the least likely or the most likely? Five being the most likely. That we'll find someone. Yes. Um, I, I'll give it a three. A three, okay. Because in, there, there actually still are people who have preserved themselves in this time. True. So it's not all doom yeah. and gone and gloomy. Mm. No, there's a lot mm. of hope. Mm. Yes. I got a lot of ones and... <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, okay. I got a lot of ones and one five, one five, because someone was like, mm-hmm. no, I know a couple of people. Yes. But really, we Same. cannot, yeah, we cannot ignore the fact that this is happening out there, yeah. even in our Christian circles, our yeah. young people getting right. so desensitized yeah. to the truth and what actually the truth is. So our assignment today... Yes is to just convince someone out there that you don't have this you don't have to be a part of this whole Nairobi shenanigans you no, know no, 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 no. you don't have to <laughs> but now we have to look at everything that is contributing to this now yes mm. I don't know where to start. Should we start with the music, maybe? <laughs> Let's start with the music. When? Because, uh, of course, Nairobi started this. The song Nairobi started the whole conversation. Yes. And, uh, of mm-hmm. course, the music people are listening to. Ula right. Soribian talk about the Gangeton yeah. uh, being yeah. a huge contributor to this. But tell me, what do you think about the whole... Well, um, the, I don't know where, where I read it, but I, I read an article that said one of the ways to understand a society... Um, its value system and what they stand for mm-hmm. is by looking at two things. The mm-hmm. first one being the kind of leaders or politicians they elect because mm-hmm. they are a direct representation of the things they stand for yes. as a society. Yes. Um, and, and I mean, it's all over. It's all around us. We, 
our political class is something else mm -hmm. um, and it's not that these True. things are as surprising to us yes um, these are people we know we've seen them yes uh, we know people have questionable integrity mm -hmm. um, you know rumors of corruption quote unquote but 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 we will still stand with them on the ballot and that yes. says something about us as a community as a society mm -hmm. um, and secondly it's the kind of music they sing or celebrate mm -hmm. it tells you about their values the things they stand for the yeah. things they um you know treasure as a society mm -hmm. so when you observe these two you can easily get a picture of what a society is like uh, and of course looking at it musically now um, it's amazing how the music in our society has transformed over time and some of the things that are actually celebrated today mm -hmm. 10 15 years ago would almost be a taboo um, yes you, you'd never hear you know? such you'd never music. hear someone address you know talking about a woman's body just sort of exactly <laughs> no yeah there's a sense in which in the archaic days during the times of our parents mm -hmm. music had something to do did you call with them days archaic, archaic. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's the Englishman that yes. says uh, music, uh -huh. in a sense, uh, you would hear uh, music would build up a society, a community. Uh -huh. When people would go out to, to dig or do some farm work, they would sing. Yes. Uh, sing along. Look at even the time of Mzemoy the late. Mm -hmm. uh, his kind of music, uh, it, it was patriotic. Yes. It was music that would rally a nation behind an idea. Nyayo, mm tushangilie -hmm. Kenya, mm taifa -hmm. letu tukufu. Mm -hmm. And things have changed. Today, uh, <laughs> Yeah, there's little <laughs> about all that, but there's a lot about our sexuality, yes. our sexual awareness. It's becoming very rampant and, and it's coming out with a lot of force and it's yeah. changing the narrative. It's changing Completely. the conversation. And that yeah. says something about the days we are headed into yeah. in yeah. the future. Can we do, there's nothing we can do about that, right? We can, there's nothing we can do about artists expressing themselves. And, you know, yeah. Ezekiel Muto will come in and decide to ban songs, but people will yeah. still listen to them Maybe. online and on YouTube. So how do I protect myself from this music? affecting the way I think yeah that is the conversation we're getting into right. and also the movies and you know have yes. you watched Bridgerton entertainment no? <laughs> <laughs> basically have you watched Bridgerton I'm curious I haven't but okay uh, she okay has. I'll be oh you you your beautiful one has she has and you know it was a uh, <laughs> we would see there was this I, I used to see her follow this series I uh -huh. didn't know what it was so the next day I'm online mm -hmm. and everyone is talking about this Duke of uh, Hastings. Duke of Hastings, I'm going to tell you about him. <laughs> Pearl Play with Yvonne Mutui. Yeah. You think we're all looking for, like, it's because we're looking for love? Do you think <laughs> that's why? Well, no, um, I wouldn't say exactly it's because we're looking for love. See, by God's design, there's a void in us that only he can feel. Uh -huh. and, uh, and that's how he's designed us, such that at the end of the day, every man will need God. Mm -hmm. And so if we don't realize that that emptiness or that void of space in us can only be filled with God, then we will go around looking for every other thing to fill it, sex, alcohol, drugs, clubbing and all that. And then every other morning we will just wake up more frustrated, mm -hmm. devastated and lonelier than we were. My goodness, and the circle yes. keeps on going on and on. Yes. And for those who don't realize it earlier, mm -hmm. you keep on trying and you think maybe it's this person who's the problem. Yes. Maybe uh, he, he's the one who's not good enough. Mm -hmm. So you keep on trying, not knowing uh, by God's design, mm -hmm. that emptiness, that void can only be filled with Him. Yes. Nothing else. My goodness. Absolutely. Stop speaking too much sense. <laughs> now, um, so I was listening and I was telling you about a lady I was watching today morning. Right. Her channel, I will not even say the name because I don't want people to look for her. Okay. <laughs> she has a lot okay. of nonsense to say. Yeah. But now she was talking about how, you know, growing up, she grew up in a very Christian family. Okay. She was promised you know, heaven on earth when it comes to marriage yeah. because she kept herself sexually pure. Mm -hmm. And so now she gets married and her husband cheats on her and she's angry at the church right. and she's like, okay, so these people told me right. if I keep myself sexually pure when all my other my friends or my other friends are doing whatever they're doing, yeah. I'm going to have a blissful marriage. But now I do not have a blissful marriage. <laughs> and other things she's advocating for right. are quite contrary to what extremes, the word huh? of god yeah extremes yeah. actually mm -hmm. uh, uh when it comes to what the word of god tells us so as young people we like to be given a promise of right. something right so if i'm to stay sexually pure <laughs> what am i getting out of it <laughs> and if a good marriage is not guaranteed yeah. then what am i getting what am i getting out of it before we go on with bridgerton <laughs> um well uh, you know i think we need to redefine our um, understanding of why we do some of these things mm -hmm. um i'm not 
keeping myself pure I, I mean it can go either way like you're mm-hmm. saying you you can preserve yourself for someone and then get into it only to be disappointed mm-hmm. and the thing about disappointment and hearts is that mm-hmm. it often drives us into um a very a place of actually rebellion mm-hmm. where you ca- recount the sacrifice and the effort you've put in only for someone to come and like completely trash them and it that pain can change you into someone you're not supposed to be true. and and so whereas yeah. these cases are true mm-hmm. i would also like to draw our attention to other many more other cases that it can actually work mm-hmm. and you see where we want to put our attention to that's what is going to either motivate us towards doing these things yes. or completely discourage us and uh, and get us the opposite direction of where we should be going yeah. and so I'll tell young people number one preserving yourself is god's desire okay. so if you look at it that way it mm-hmm. ceases to be about what do i get out of it in any case you will get something out of it mm-hmm. which is uh which is of course the satisfaction and joy of knowing i kept myself for this moment oh yeah and believing that mm-hmm. god has equally done the same for someone else has kept them for you and even if he has not they still grace <laughs> <laughs> no but seriously yeah because i think we as women really yeah. have the, you know everybody expects you to be you know a virgin and all that it's, but it's not the same standards women, to right? men i know the pressure is on women but we're not getting into that conversation okay. right now okay. but right. someone has just texted something and i feel it's really what is bugging us young people mostly okay. sex is really being used as a measure of love mm-hmm. You know, I want to sleep with me, you gay. Yeah. Or you don't love me. Right. You know, it's either you gay or you do not love me. There's no right. in between about that. Yeah. But of course, this is a lot being shaped mm-hmm. by the movies that we are watching and okay. what we are consuming, right? Yeah, right. Now, Bridgerton. You've talked about the <laughs> Duke you of Hastings. <laughs> <laughs> what do you what do you want to tell me about the Duke of Hastings? No, she did um I I I, I there's someone who posted on Facebook. Ah. Uh I think she was saying uh ladies this man's name is this. His name is not the Duke of Hastings. Oh yeah, he's so called like, Roger okay, Jean. What is the, and then when I read through the comment mm-hmm. that people are saying, you know, that's the whole point why we are watching the series. You, watching Bridget. And, uh, so I came home and, and asked, yeah, have you heard about this stuff? And, mm-hmm. and yeah, that's what was playing. So I don't even know what the plot is. Mm-hmm. Um and and I am keen to say what I have to say lest I'm termed as insecure. <laughs> <laughs> We don't, we don't we don't want we don't want nobody <laughs> terming you as insecure <laughs> but now 90% let's say or above okay, of yeah. movies on Netflix and all that right. have so many sexual scenes right. you know you know and it's really making us feel like yeah it's completely normal there's yeah. absolutely nothing wrong with that right let me tell you something about that um you see Vaughn we need to understand entertainment is not just something we do for fun entertainment uh-huh. shapes who we become mm-hmm. it has a direct impact in the persons we grow up to be now if you observe the trend a mm-hmm. few years back issues and matters to do with homosexuality were almost like a no go zone you would not hear that conversation anywhere around us like even just the thought entertaining the thought almost seemed sinful true and people are very reserved and, and especially back this side um, true. but over time in Kenya we have seen aggressive movements by mm-hmm. some of these groups coming out to defend themselves mm-hmm. coming out and asking the government to recognize them we've seen efforts of presidents coming here and saying this is something that needs to be accepted mm-hmm. and now we are even seeing a trend where movies are coming forth without um, they're coming out clear uh-huh. loud and to the point that yeah. this is our agenda mm-hmm. now when you look at that look at how it starts even on netflix mm-hmm. we have a series that has a gay character mm-hmm. and how they do it is the gay character is this really handsome young man yes he has such a nice heart such a big heart he's quiet yes and 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 when you watch you just fall in love with his personality yes if he's offended in the movie you get offended, offended on his well. behalf yeah and little by little you begin to identify with this person mm-hmm. look at all gay characters in every movie they are amazing they are they are wonderful people they are <laughs> handsome and and every other girl out there they're like yes so when they are hurt we hurt with them yes and little by little we begin to accept Girl them we begin to look at them as but they are normal yeah it translates to reality now feelings mm-hmm. so what what is that doing to us it's 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 normalizing the uh it's normalizing the thing yeah. so you find little by little our minds are beginning to get uh, to accept this whole idea mm-hmm. we begin to see them as yes 
uh, and and it's not that we should see them as lesser human anyway they are still god's children yes, but and they can to be accept redeemed it now it becomes but we begin very... to accept the whole reality yes. and we begin to say maybe actually there's nothing the narrative that is being sold to us exactly right? and that's how netflix has been selling this idea to us so what do we you... do so we don't watch movies anymore like we, we cannot watch movies anymore well we should know that you see uh, i like to think of it this way mm -hmm. information Information means something that's coming into you mm -hmm. and then it's forming something. Mm -hmm. And for us, information comes through what we read, see, watch, or yes. what we hear, yes. listen to. Mm -hmm. It informs everything about the people we become. Mm -hmm. And now, if I have that information, understanding, then I know almost like the way a computer works, garbage in, garbage out. Yes. So if I let in a lot of trash into my system, mm -hmm. automatically I will begin to be trashy in my thoughts in my standards, in the things I stand for, yeah. in my values. Because I mean, I have to accommodate that which is coming into me. Mm -hmm. So if I'm listening to a lot of, and for instance, let me do, I've, I've observed that across many radio stations in, uh -huh. in, in, uh, in Kenya uh -huh. in the morning, uh, it's always, the discussion is always about how relationships don't work, marriages don't work. I mean, uh -huh. tomorrow take a, look, run through. Yes. You'll hear here, yeah, there's a group of women calling and they're saying all men are dogs, they're cheats and all. And then the men are calling and saying, but these women are gold diggers, they wow. are this and that, they're cheats. Mm -hmm. You go to another station and they are, there's a husband and woman who are trying to be brought together. Mm -hmm. So what is running in the minds of Kenyans between 6 a.m. and 10 a.m. in the morning is how marriages don't work. How relationships it's basically how relationships don't work. Don't work. And that's why, Yvonne, mm -hmm. I can't walk around the streets here and just say to a lady innocently, hey, excuse me, I like your dress or your hair looks nice. Mm -hmm. In as much as that might be a genuine compliment, mm -hmm. what the reaction I'm likely to receive what from do you them want? is what exactly are you after? Now, I have another question for you. Right. Are men naturally polygamous? <laughs> Someone asked me that question and I need you to answer that. But Pearl Play with Yvonne Mutui. Today we're having a chit chat about sex in the city. Of course, we're talking about fornication right. and the sexual culture in Nairobi. But no, honestly, is Nairobi such a bad place? Precious call. <laughs> Nairobi is a beautiful place. Uh -huh. uh, but but um, I mean, <laughs> this is what we were talking about. You know, songs can really drive a narrative. Yes. And and the first time I I, I, lis I listened to this song. Mm -hmm. um, the the rhythm is amazing the tune is amazing mm -hmm. everything about it is amazing but then the message is uh, but you see the truth is there's there's a, a group to whom that is the reality mm -hmm. that it's purpose yes, and sharing definitely uh, yes the, the man is only yours when you are with him in the house yes he's out here he's public <laughs> Uh, resource. <laughs> Lord have um, mercy. And, and yes. there's that thing about men not being uh, about men and polygamy. Mm -hmm. And I want to say um, about that, it's it's important that we redefine our definition of what manhood is. Okay. Because for many of us in this generation, uh -huh. manhood is about um, the women I'm able to conquer. Mm -hmm. So when I meet with my boys over the weekend, mm -hmm. I can tell stories, you know, body count and all that mm -hmm. stuff. For some people, mm -hmm. manhood is the wheels I drive. Um, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. For some people, manhood is where I hang out, the place I, you know, it's beard. Mm -hmm. But you see, all those things can, can be wasted. Okay. If your definition on who a man is or what a man is, mm -hmm. is based on something that you can lose, mm -hmm. does it mean that when ah. you, for instance, if it's beard that gives me a sense of uh, manhood mm -hmm. should it happen something happens to me and and i lose all my beards maybe a sickness or like cancer you or something bald, like around your face <laughs> do i stop being a man you see? yeah uh -huh. if it's about the women i sleep with mm -hmm. if i get an accident and my manhood is completely messed up the doctor said now this one has to be cut off mm -hmm. i can't sleep with nobody do mm -hmm. i cease being a man mm -hmm. you see and those kind of skewed perspectives and understanding of what a man is yeah. are driving some of us nuts so how do we define man manhood then we should look at manhood based on how God's word looks at it. Mm -hmm. God says to Abraham that upon you I'm giving you responsibility mm -hmm. to take care of this, you know. You have authority and dominion over this. And and there is a sense in which Adam is presented to us with mm -hmm. accountability. He's mm -hmm. accountable to God. Yes. God has to fellowship with him. Mm -hmm. And when sin comes and God can't feel him, he's like, hey, where are you? Mm -hmm. See, see, it tells you when we look at it God's way, mm -hmm. manhood is about being submitted to God's design. Mm -hmm. See, we are given to how God wants us to be mm -hmm. or, or to be in this world. Mm -hmm. So it has little to do with physical, but it has everything to do with where we stand 
in God's kingdom and in God's word. But the belief is so innate right. in us at this particular point. Yeah, yeah. With the way we define manhood, my goodness, precious, it's so innate in us. Yeah. So much so that it, it's very, it's going to be very difficult to change a man's mind to tell him that you know what, young man, it's yeah. not about the number of women you sleep with because he's been told growing yeah. up by his friends, yes. by the movies that he's watching, by the music that he's listening exactly. to, that you being a man means you yes. have to sleep around first of all with fifteen to top uh-huh. twenty girls. That yeah. you've slept with thirty. Yes. That you're the man, you know, <laughs> because that is what they've been told. Yeah. So what, what, how do we move forward from where we already are? Well, de- deconstructing ideas is not is not mm-hmm. uh, um, uh, uh, just taking a cup of tea or something. It's it's not easy because yeah. this is something that has been socialized into being the truth. Yes. But it falls short of what the truth is. Uh-huh. But you see, there has to be a remnant. There has to be a difference. Um, at one time, I'm reminded Elijah was very frustrated because he thought he was the only true prophet yes, around. Yeah. And he's telling God, you see, I'm <laughs> the only one. And God says, I have preserved 7,000 more who mm-hmm. have not bowed. See, the problem with these kinds of perspective is mm-hmm. when you're sleeping around, you tend to imagine everyone is doing it. Yes. When you're cheating in an exam, you tend to think everyone, everyone is, is cheating, doing it. Yes. And you fail to realize that there are actually people who, who are, are doing not. it the right way. Yes. They might not be a million. Mm-hmm. They, they might, might not, not be a thousand. It, and they might not say it. They are not popular, yes. they are not invited for mm-hmm. shows, they are not const- uh, composing music, <laughs> but guess yes. what? They are there. Yes. Remember Sodom and Gomorrah? It was full of filth and evil. Mm-hmm. There was homosexuality. Mm-hmm. It was bad. It was terrible that it angered God. Yes. Yet there were still virgins in the yes. house of Lot. <laughs> True. So if if you're not doing it, it doesn't mean everyone else isn't doing that. Now, I can sit here and count for you people that I know, I can mm-hmm. vouch for mm-hmm. that they are doing it right. Mm-hmm. People that are around us. And you see, mm-hmm. sometimes all you need to see is these kind of examples. And what? Yes. The, and that means for those that are doing it, for mm-hmm. those that have desired, don't feel ashamed about it. Don't be f- afraid to come out and yes. say that I actually read for the exam. I'm exactly. not cheating. I'm not cheating. You <laughs> I'm see, ready it, for this test. Of course, you know? there's a lot of stigma around today when you say you are a virgin, you are uncool. You know, like, yeah. Like, you, like, you like what? That so, is embarrassing. Actually, it's, an, it's it's a more embarrassing thing to say yeah. than to say, oh, I actually had a one night stand exactly. yesterday, you know? See? So and, 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 and it tells you something mm-hmm. in the in the few in the few years to come, it it can only get worse. Yeah. It can only get worse. Yes. Even the same way ten years ago we would not sit somewhere and talk about homosexual rights. Yeah. Give them up and True. you see it, it's the same way now. Mm-hmm. It would be so bizarre to hear someone come out and say, we need our rights to be protected, mm-hmm. our rights to have sex with animals. Mm-hmm. Like, every one of us would wonder, what is what is wrong with you? Yes. Yet, 10 years from now, I won't be surprised if, if we will have my goodness. advocate groups. For example, your son, your daughter comes home like and tells we need you... our rights to be protected to know? sleep with animals. Can you imagine? <laughs> For this now, 10 now? years ago, it was laughable that no. I need my rights to be protected to be in sexual relations with a man. But look Lord. at it now. It's yeah. normal. It's gonna, so all these things are going get It is, normal. in fact, at the center of influencing the outcome <laughs> of a presidential debate Lord, election goodness, in the U.S. Yes. That's crazy, man. I mean, it, the times ahead can only be... But I need you to tell me, as a young person, yeah. why, you know, why should I remain sexually pure? Because it's still a question that many people are asking, looking yeah. at, you know, some of the things that look like benefits now. Right. They're not, not really benefits, but they look and they seemingly so really, really seem like benefits. Right. Or, you know, just living the way you want. But yeah. we get back into that conversation. Pearl Play with Yvonne Mutui. And of course, joining me today is a, an amazing friend of mine called Precious Cole. A man of God, preacher of the word. <laughs> but very relatable with young people. And I think that is amazing. Yeah. An amazing aspect to have, especially Thank as you. a leader right now. My yes. goodness. We do not want people who are shouting at us. No. You know, telling us what to do. You know, in ways that are very, you know, we have our own ego and our yeah. own stuff. Right. And all of these activists in this world right now, from the feminists to, you know, the ag- all the activists are telling us yeah. to own up our own selves. You mm-hmm. know, I'm, I'm, I'm the God of me. I decide what happens with my <laughs> life. So who are you and your God and your Bible? to tell me what to do Mm -hmm. the mindset out there it's sad but it's true Ken when you're saying on today's topic the major contribution is the fact that everything is being normalized from movies um, music adverts everything has been sexualized Mm -hmm. a cool thing has to be skimpily dressed Mm -hmm. the truth in that right interesting it's actually true yeah Yeah? yes most of uh, (laughs) and and I think uh, (laughs) you see everything is being normalized Mm -hmm. apart from God's word Look at that. God's word is not being normalized. You know, and I it's mean, been made to look like this happened years ago. Exactly. Why are we still talking about it now? So, 
many people have made God's word irrelevant for mm -hmm. this time. Like mm -hmm. it doesn't resonate with where we are. Mm -hmm. uh, but but that's a very skewed understanding of what really God's word is for us. Sure. Because if we have a firm grip of what God says and expect of us, it be it will be us now influencing what the world should be like, mm -hmm. not the other way around. We yes. should not be like an emergency response team uh -huh. that, hey, there's this song that has come up. Can we can we talk about it? Yes. That's what I was telling you the other day. Yeah. These conversations are happening. Yeah. And as believers, mm -hmm. we must be at the center of it yeah. in terms of influencing uh, the conversations, mm -hmm. the thoughts that are dominant in our society today mm -hmm. so that at the end of the day we are able to preserve that god sense of godliness in us why are we lagging behind on this by the way when it comes to impact and it really comes to starting conversations because most of the times it's a secular world right that is really ahead of on this when it yeah. comes to the challenges that are happening on social media right. the basset the silhouette challenge mm -hmm. they really trend but if you start something about the bible <laughs> Right. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to take a while for that to actually, you know, get anywhere. It tells you what sells in our in our society Sex right now. Sells? It does. Yeah. I mean, the other day I saw an advert of a, um, a soft drink. Which soft drink? Oh, which don't, is, never don't mention it. Not even alcohol, yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> and, 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 but the advert had a man that was shirtless um, and, and there's a sense in which it's, there's nudity. Yeah. Um, and I was wondering, okay, what does that have to do with me buying a drink? Why does he have to be shirtless? As Why a lady, I might buy that drink because he's shirtless. <laughs> <laughs> so see, there's even, a possibility. even adverts are becoming sexual. Mm, Look at yeah. what entertains us on social media. Mm -hmm. To a large extent, it's sexualized. Yeah. So sex is becoming normal. Like, yeah, it's happening. It's a sport. As someone was saying, yeah. it's going to be something bigger than even tribalism you know, true. in the coming days. True. And that means for those of us that have a sense of godliness in us left, we must stand up, whether it's in our small numbers. In any case, God has history with small numbers. True. He says to Gideon, those are too many for me. I don't work with such big armies. Cut them down. Mm -hmm. And they are reduced to just a handful of men. He doesn't need thousands of us. He just needs commitment from us. He just True. needs hearts that are souls to this cause. Mm -hmm. And guess what? One, two men, three, four, five will change a generation. Will change the world. They will change the world. This year, Anyolo, and I say my irrelevant topic, especially Kwahi month. It's yes. the month of love. It's uh -huh. February, Valentine's. Okay. We are up praying for the nation. The <laughs> gentlemen yeah. are. You, oh, you, you're you going up to the mountain, yes, you could. We have an exclusive. <laughs> <laughs> no, the story is like so much steer and stuff. Like, you guys need to find something new for this year because to show a jewel. So, he's saying, Kuna conversations has if uh -huh. For instance, during our time, how can our parents watch soaps? Hmm. Jew in some sort, uh, in some sort of kiss in a tokea on a patamzema sema. Hey, buni lete majia po. But now <laughs> it is way point. worse. Yeah, it is way worse. There's no censorship in whatever is being consumed. And yes. lastly, people reward mediocrity. Mm -hmm. We need to change our ways. We should. A song can be done really badly, or a film for that, mm -hmm. really badly. Yeah. But for as much as it has a lot of sexuality in it, we accept it. It sells. True. It sells. Very Emmanuel true. Mulyungi and Asema, because of the peer pressure and the emotions of the body, girls for us to do that thing like mm. the how how they wear nowadays yeah yeah ah i see <laughs> no 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 you might say that like, uh, <laughs> say so he's <laughs> taking the blame on girls yeah he's that it's because of it's, how it's, they dress yes well we have people up to kana that barely wear anything mm-hmm they they uh they walk with imagine those same people walking on the streets of nairobi yeah <laughs> it's it's impossible here <laughs> <laughs> you see i think it's also from <laughs> i no. know where we are well yeah but but you see yvonne if 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 it's how you dress that's going to make me run after you mm -hmm. it yes it says something about you mm -hmm. and and how you value yourself but it also says something about me I don't have control of myself. Yes. I shouldn't just want you because I've seen you half naked. Mm. Um, I should want you uh, uh, for something slightly more than that, for it to be a bit... You see that? It's it's almost selfish. It, it almost feels like just a desire to gratify something yeah. and then completely disappear. And that's why many are out here feeling very used because you did a silhouette you challenge know. and someone slid into your Instagram. Yeah. Not because they even know you. They, just, they didn't even see you. It was... You know, uh, so but sad. then uh, you've made me feel some type of way. Maybe something can happen, and then yeah. something happens, and then I realize this is not what I want. And I'm off. This off person is undateable. She's yeah. horrible. I'm, I disappear, yeah. and then you're left there battling your depression and all those kind of things. Yeah, I'd like for us to, you know, pray with everyone who's out there, and they 
feel like I've messed up. Yes. I'm being too deep on this thing. Yeah. I do not know how to come out. I know I need to because of what all the things it's done to my life yeah. and all that. And also tell us why we actually should uh, remain sexually pure. Pearl Play with Yvonne Mutui. As my precious call is here with me, right. pouring out his wisdom and his... <laughs> strength I almost said his wisdom and his might and his strength you know <laughs> in all his wisdom <laughs> and in all his strength um but yeah. really god is love isn't he mm-hmm. and it he is. wants nothing but the best for us i was hearing right. ravi zakari was saying in the morning yeah i was listening to him and he was saying before you pull down a fence ask yourself first why it was put there right you know it right. was not it just it didn't just happen overnight right. that uh, we decided you know even before the whole gospel and christianity came here mm-hmm. there are things africans could not do true you know because it, it is just in it it's 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 in it's in us true. but now i need you to talk to me yeah. as a young lady you're a young man yes who is feeling like i'm getting so much benefit mm-hmm. from me engaging in sexual uh, sexual activities before marriage and everything that i'm doing mm. because um this is the only way first of all i'm getting to keep my relationship yeah if i stop sleeping with my man he's going to leave me mm-hmm. you know he's going to say okay bye girl i'm going to find someone else who is not a lesbian or he's not you know a chicken yes you know who's not yeah. a coward yeah or it's how i'm living it's it's how i'm getting my daily money i have mm-hmm. to sleep with a certain man for me to be able to play pay my rent mm-hmm. and all that like there's so many benefits we're getting from this i'm getting acceptance you know i'm getting to get rid of this emptiness inside of me especially when we're going through difficult times and mm. difficult uh, difficult circumstances right now all these things really seem like benefits to most of us but in reality they are ruining us more than they are actually building they us are, right. and it's what i'd like to talk to you talk to me how should i then stay pure if i feel like i'm getting all these benefits from this yeah well you see uh, um, and before i answer that uh, i'm going to say for if someone is listening to me and he's he or she's not a believer mm-hmm. some of the things yes. i'm going to say will sound foreign but for those of us that are believers this mm-hmm. is where we stand mm-hmm. the things we believe in and the things we do is what god has asked us to do in his word mm-hmm. and the first thing i'm going to see is number one and this one will never change it doesn't matter who becomes president or yes. where who takes <laughs> off which body yes. um how much homosexuals get ground mm-hmm. it does not matter but one thing that will always remain is that sex out of marriage is sin. Mm-hmm. And that is going to be the case for as long as we are in this world. Mm-hmm. So there are no shortcuts about that and that's the first thing I want us. So we are not even here to debate that. It yeah. is sinful and for that God will punish. It is See, written. Scripture says that it's yes. written. Yes. And even in part of the 10 commandments mm-hmm. we were told about fornication and adultery. Mm-hmm. But that sex <laughs> before and when in marriage with someone who is not your spouse yeah just to to prove what you've said i have yeah. to read it of first Please corinthians do. Do. chapter 6 verse right. 9 yeah. it says or do you not know that the unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of god will, mm. do not be deceived neither the sexually immoral right nor the idolaters right. nor the adulterers nor men who practice homosexuality right. nor thieves nor the greedy nor yes. drunkards nor revilers nor there's so many who will not inherit the, the kingdom, kingdom of, of god. god and such was some of you i like what he says here mm-hmm. but you were washed you were sanctified Amen. you were justified right. in the name of the lord jesus christ mm-hmm. and by the spirit of our god so mm-hmm. it's possible for someone actually to be justified and sanctified it is possible yes. and sanctification is a process mm-hmm. every other day we are being transformed so even as we because sometimes people would say but i've sunk in too deep yes uh, i'm not able to come out and you see uh, god's works of sanctification and cleansing are mm-hmm. so powerful he can literally pull us out of the thickest of clay or mud and completely wash and, uh, wash and cleanse us. Mm-hmm. That scripture says it gives all those groups of people. Now, it doesn't matter whether you did it for money, whether yes. you did it for acceptance, uh-huh. whether you did it to fill a gap or a void, uh-huh. whatever it is. For as long as mm-hmm. you're doing it, you are actually living a sinful life. You are living a sinful life. And Jesus came that such may be redeemed Mm -hmm. and 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 i also like a scripture in romans chapter one that says that uh uh, because of this that's the sin of people Mm -hmm. god gave them over to their shameful lusts Mm -hmm. even their women exchanged natural relation relations Mm -hmm. sorry sexual relations for unnatural ones with other women in the same way the men also abandoned natural relations with women and were inflamed with lust for one another Mm -hmm. men committed shameful acts with other men and received in themselves the due penalty for their error Mm -hmm. then it says apochini verse 31 
verse 30, uh, these people, gossipers, slanderers, god haters, insolent, arrogant, and boastful, they invent new ways of doing evil. And we keep <laughs> seeing that yeah, even today. They ways. disobey their parents, they yeah. have no understanding, no fidelity, no love, no mercy, although they know God's righteous decree. They uh-huh. know these things are bad, it's sinful. <laughs> he says, though we know uh, we still do those things. Mm-hmm. Though we know there is punishment of death for such, we still do them. And we not only continue to do these things, we also approve those who practice them. They are human, accept them. You know? And God says, people too. even for those who approve, mm-hmm. there's going to be judgment upon you. See, uh, uh, and when we look at it that way, one of the reasons why we should strive to be sexually pure is mm-hmm. because it pleases the Lord. Yeah. I mean, it ple- it, if you want to please the Lord... Not for any other reason, yeah. but just for that one reason. I believe that's strong enough for me. It should be strong enough for you out there. Mm-hmm. If your desire is to live and please the Lord, that's one of the ways you can do that. And and, and just to encourage people, there is no mess that's too big for God to sort. There's none. Uh, there's whatsoever. no sin too big mm-hmm. for the cross. Yes. The blood was, someone said, efficacious. That means covered sins back in the day and we'll yeah. still cover sins to come yes. many more that we haven't even seen the new sins that are mm-hmm. being invented day after day <laughs> guess what these <laughs> power yeah. in the blood of jesus yes. that he can wash us this day mm. and get us back on track true right, right please right. uh pray pray for us young people yeah especially those of us who are still you know struggling with this um you know, sexual sin. Right. And we want to come out because there are those of us who've struggled and we want to come out of it yeah. because there are those of us who still remain rebellious. And mm-hmm. I pray that, you know, the Lord will open our spiritual eyes and the eyes of our understanding yes. that we may be able to see that what we're doing yeah. is very destructive to our lives. Yes. But there are those of us who really, really want to come out of this, to mm-hmm. experience the whole new side of right. true freedom. Yeah. So please, Tombe, yes. Tombe, as we... yeah. As Let we me say on. before I pray, yes, I think I've just remembered the prodigal son mm-hmm. who you know goes away gets into this world of pleasure and fun and everything and then the bible says something about his father by the way when i read that story for me the story is more about the loving dad than is about the prodigal son Mm -hmm. because we have so many prodigal sons but we have very little loving fathers Mm -hmm. who would every day stand on the gate staring into the horizon and wondering when will my son come back home yeah there are very few of such kind of fathers and 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 the day this prodigal son came back to his senses and decided to come back home scripture says that when Mm -hmm. the father saw him from a distance Mm -hmm. he tucked his clock and ran towards him now in the jewish culture Mm-hmm. it was almost it was like a taboo for a man to run it was not accepted men were not supposed to run but here he's a man who's defying tradition he's, he's defying odds tucking his clock and running towards the sun why for the joy of a son who's coming home mm-hmm. that's exactly how god rejoices every single day we turn and just say i think i've had enough of this and i want to come back home mm-hmm. there's more acceptance there's love and and we want to pray with everyone that's listening and we pray there is no that there is nothing god can't deliver us from yeah um and so if it's okay i can pray yes please all right let's pray we thank you lord this wonderful afternoon for speaking us and reminding us that sexual purity is your will mm-hmm. is your desire for every one of us mm-hmm. and if uh, Lord, and, and as and even as we share, Lord, this conversation, and as we live in such a difficult time as this to advance such a cause, Lord, how we ask that you may help us as young people to be able to remain as remnants, Lord, who would then minister to many more that come after us for the glory and honor of your name. Lord, this morning moment, we want to repent for every of the times, Lord, we have slid into this sexual sin. Mm-hmm. For every time, Lord, knowingly and unknowingly, we found ourselves, Lord, caught up in this mess, caught up in this sin. And some of us have sunk so deep that we don't even we are not even sure that you'd accept us again lord for every of those souls that are listening Mm -hmm. i pray that they would feel your love in this moment pulling them out of their sin and in the name of jesus setting them free from the bondage and from the chains the enemy has crippled them with in jesus name we pray lord over nairobi over Mm -hmm. our country over the world oh lord Mm -hmm. that you will continue to infiltrate the airwaves with your gospel you will continue to infiltrate this airway 
lives with your love mm -hmm. with your word oh god and continuing to sanitize the mess that's in our society in the name of jesus mm -hmm. father i pray for those few that you have kept as a remnant mm -hmm. the lord you may give them platforms to come forth that you may give them boldness and confidence to speak of it in jesus name yes. and that lord in the end all the glory and honor will be unto you mm -hmm. Lord, we pray for every believer out there mm -hmm. that are in a place of discouragement feeling like this cannot work some that have actually kept themselves but they feel like there's nobody right enough who has kept themselves in equal measure mm -hmm. father i pray that for those you'll send encouragement yeah. that you'll preserve them even more mm -hmm. and you'll cause us to be one big army that will cause a revolution and an impact in our society oh lord yes. and we pray the lord you may give us grace mm -hmm. to continue living in this world mm -hmm. as ambassadors of christ representing you and evangelizing and reaching out to the many that are around us we thank you and this we pray in jesus name amen amen, amen and amen thank you so much thank you you're just the best aren't you <laughs> <laughs> yeah thank you thank for you. your time you I, yeah, we continue having this conversation by the way the hashtag right. use on uh, on twitter is power play with yvonne let's continue give me your two cents on what you think on on this yeah.